This is looking very strong for Alexander Rossi. Let's go down to the pits. Will Power has the pit out location. He squeezes around Joseph Newgarden, the championship leader in the Origin White car. He's going to have to get around. Will Power coming out. Final stop for the two Team Penske cars. And Joseph Newgarden is oh. about the same time. And it's a drag race to the line. And now we watch how they blend in. Joseph Newgarden totally overcooked his pit entry. Oh. He got the same oh. thing. Oh, he gets hit hard by Sebastian Bourdais. The championship leader is in huge trouble. They're all hitting the pit lane exit wall. He hit the pit lane exit wall. Wow. And was on the brakes and got clobbered. Uh, Marco Andretti came in and did the exact same thing. He slid wide and hit the pit lane exit wall. And this is massive damage. I wonder if there's water on the track or just cold tires. It was Tim Sindrick. President of Penske Racing, Team Penske, who asked the question, what happened there? Let's have a look from above. So Will Power raced him hard off pit road, but what happens to the championship leader? He just understeered into the, into the grass, hit the wall, and then the next car came along and hit him. And if we stay on this shot, watch Marco come hopefully into the picture and does exactly the same thing. You could see a little puff of right front smoke on all three of these cars were locking right fronts Remember, you come off the pit speed limit or you get all the acceleration and we'll watch on board. Listen to Newgarden. You don't realize coming right, down here, right. it's very, very downhill. He's locked up. The tire's locked up going in and just, oh, big hit from watch behind. That line, watch that line. Oh. And Newgarden's very lucky. He didn't get there? completely walloped as they went on. Look at all these guys. They're in the pit racing out. line. So that's that was it wasn't that was Marco Kanan. that was Kanan that hit the wall. His car looks very similar. So this is very very steep downhill. It's very deceiving. He just locked it up. And remember, it was Newgarden last week at Gateway swooping across the nose of Power who crashed on the opening yeah. lap. A, now Newgarden has the mistake. It's a very very similar pit exit to like getting out of the pits in Daytona, you yes. know, tonight. And you come in there and you think. Oh, I'm not going very fast, and you end up clobbering the Marco. And if you think correctly about that, PT, guess who did it? It happens to the best of them. Jeff Gordon did it at night, coming off pit road around that 180-degree turn in the Rolex 24 at Daytona. He's so here comes a very wounded Penske Chevrolet. Damage all over, front wings broken, rear wings broken. You got to think the toe's out on it. That was a hard hit on Careful the left-hand side. Here. Careful stop in here. And he's entering a closed pit. And you can hear Tim Sendrick saying, be very careful stopping. They thought a tire was also down. So what they're going to do first is they're going to change the rear wing assembly, change four tires, and then they're going to decide whether the car is well enough to continue. He slapped that guardrail pretty good, but they're eventually going to have to assess suspension and other issues with this car. What a swing, potentially, for the championship leader with just one more race to go after this. It is huge. This is monstrous as far as the scope of the championship is concerned. Tires here, guys. Get the tires. The driver who has won three of the last four races and who came into this race with a 31-point advantage Go ahead. Go ahead. may just end today and leave Watkins Glen, New York with a single-digit points lead. Front wing end plate looks like it's definitely been hit hard and potentially broken. Now, Newgarden goes on to Reds See that with wing end maybe plate. 14, 13 laps to go. And there's some damage to the car, but if it's in reasonable enough shape, it's going to be fun to watch Newgarden. The front wing is still damaged. Question is, do they keep him out, or are they going to just try to stay on the lead lap and come Something back to pit as well. lane? On this side over here, is something damaged right there as well. So it's a uh, piece is flying off the car. So he's got damage somehow on both sides of the car to fix. He's going to have to come in and check that over again, which is going to put him further down. And right now, Scott Dixon is only three points behind Newgarden in the points. If this Verizon IndyCar Series Championship for 2017 hasn't been entertaining enough, can you believe what we've just seen?